interests me about the Coronglé and the bassoon is that they're both um, uh, alto tenor instruments, and um, and and so there's a sort of there's a sort of the uh, the the range of the instruments are very close in some ways. Um, of course, the Coronglé doesn't go anywhere near the bassoon, but the way that the bassoon speaks, its melodic range it is very similar to the uh, Coronglés, and yet they're distinctive. It, it's interesting, it, we're, we're both playing in the same tempo, um, and our phrases overlap, but we each, at the end of a phrase, have a pause, and the pause is obviously of slightly indeterminate length. So it gives a bit of flexibility as to when you play in, with relation to the other instruments. So when I pause, John enters with his next phrase, and then once he's started going, I'll move off again. But because our pauses are going to be slightly different, every time we play it, different notes align or don't align. And there are only, I think, three spots in the piece which are supposed to align. It's very interesting, it's, it's a sort of elegiac well, rather sad mood of, of the music, and um, and every time you play it, it's it's going to be slightly different. My music is in a permanent state of exposition, you know. So it depends what time of day it is. I never know what I'm going to do. Um, I've been writing a um, piano concerto, and I, I I'm. I, yesterday I arrived at a point where I never thought I would arrive at and yet you can think and I can think from that point now um, what I might be doing when I go home this evening and go back, come back to work tomorrow um, I can sort of think what maybe I, I could do in relation to what the context of today is but I guarantee it will not be what I think it will be something else all ideas are as good as any other idea. All ideas are as good as one another. It depends how the, the problem with ideas is the, the realisation of ideas, not, not the ideas themselves. <laughs>